Sometimes you want to suggest extensions to your colleagues, and they could be extensions that are publicly available, but you want to create a little list for them so they have something that uh, to choose from that you know or good extensions that will help them. Um, and other times you might have extensions for Visual Studio that you have built internally in your company that you want to share with everyone, but you don't want to upload them to the marketplace, which is a place where everyone in the world can then use them. You want to keep them uh, internally to your company. So let's take a look at how private galleries can solve both of those problems relatively easily. Um, and what we really want to do is we want to get in here into the extension manager dialog. And if you look here under the online tab, you can see that there's the Visual Studio Marketplace. All right, so that's the global one. We want to get our own custom one in here next to it. So first of all, I need to f get a bunch of extensions that I want to uh, have part of my um, sort of private marketplace or gallery. And um, I have that here. I have a bunch of extensions that I've uh, put into a folder. And in order for me to share this, I might have put that folder on a, on a network share so everyone in the company or my team has access to it. I also put an exe file in here called Private Gallery Creator. And uh, I got that from GitHub. So if you go to GitHub, uh, the Private Gallery Creator repo, uh, there's a link below here in the description. Um, you can go to releases and just download the exe file directly from here. Now, what that allows me to do is simply just double click. And that will start a console app uh, and it will produce a feed, an XML atom feed, um, based on these extensions. And if, there were, if some of these extensions are particularly big, or complex, it could take a little bit of a time, and others are super fast. So it's now done, and we can see that we now have an XML file. We also have a hidden folder here with icons in it, so it extracted the icons out. So this feed is consumable by Visual Studio. Let's take a look at how we do that. So I go to extensions uh, up here, and um, here at the bottom of the dialog, I'm just going to click Change Your Settings for Extensions. And then I'm going to add an additional extension gallery. I'm going to call it My Gallery. And the URL is the feed, this file right here. So I'm going to hold down Shift and right click. And that's going to give me an option here called Copy as Path. And then I'm going to go back into Visual Studio, paste that in and remove the quotation marks that is automatically being uh, inserted here, like that. Hit Apply, and OK. So now, when I go into my Extension Manager dialog, you can see that there's now a My Gallery right here. And that lists all the extensions that I have in that feed that I have on my network share where everyone can access them. Um, if these extensions that I have in my custom feed also exist on the marketplace, then auto-update will happen automatically regardless of which of the feeds, the Visual Studio Marketplace feed or the My Gallery feed. Whichever one has the newest version, Visual Studio will update the extension from there. So you don't actually have to maintain the local uh, gallery with always with the latest versions. Um, if they're also on the marketplace, then the users will automatically get the updates. Uh, so that's how you do that, and um, there's a lot more. If you go into that uh, GitHub repo, you can read a lot more about how this works. What are the different options you can call the um, uh, the exe with to have it automatically create the uh, you know a new feed whenever a new uh, v6 file is updated on disk, and all these different parameters you can use to customize and ultimately get the exact behavior that you want for your custom feed. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.